Many children ages 3 through 5 in North Dakota reside on a reservation within the service delivery area of a local education agency, otherwise known as an LEA. Reservations often include schools that fall under the jurisdiction of the Security of the Interior and are administered by the Bureau of Indian Education, otherwise known as BIE. Because of the complex nature, these administrative relations pose confusion, can arise to who is responsible for provision of special education services such as child fine, service provision, and estate and federal reporting. In August of 2014, professionals providing services for children with disabilities ages 0 to 5 residing on a reservation met in Minot to discuss the bullets listed on this slide. Individuals from Mountain Plains Regional Resource Center and BIE provided information focused on federal requirements and responsibilities related to IDEA, regulations focused on identification and evaluation, free of pro appropriate public education, and least restrictive environment. At the August meeting, regions met to develop plans to address issues within their region. Each region has unique issues. In one region, two special education units have met monthly to develop a process to assure consistency in identifying, tracking, and providing services to children ages 3 through 5 residing on the reservation. Representatives in another region have met to develop an MOU that will assist in clarifying the responsibilities of each LEA involved in providing services within that region. To assist in providing consistency statewide, NDDPI developed this guidance. NDDPI will be meeting with each region involved in providing services to develop a plan to assure all children ages 3 through 5 residing on a reservation are identified, tracked, and provided service. After our August meeting and through the review of NDDPI data, it was determined that NDDPI needed to develop a document that would provide guidance to LEAs that would assure consistent identification, data collection, and services to all children ages 3 to 5 residing on reservation. The document is for general informational and educational purposes only. I'd like to briefly walk you through the questions that are involved in the NDDPI question and answer document. We welcome your input and your comments. Under the Individuals with Disabilities Act, otherwise known as IDEA, who is responsible for the provision of special education services for children ages 3 through 5 residing on reservations? Ultimately, the responsibility for the service provision under IDEA Part B for children ages 3 5 residing on reservations lies within the State Education Agency and LEA in which that the child resides. In North Dakota, the LEA is responsible for conducting child fine and providing early childhood special education and related services for children with ages 3 through 5 who reside on reservations within that LEA's jurisdiction. Local Education Agency is defined in North Dakota Administrative Code as an LEA in the school district that the child will be attending when he or she begins elementary school. In North Dakota, a single or multi-district special education unit, SEU, works with the school districts within the SEU's jurisdiction to assure the provisions of IDEA B services. Here on this PowerPoint slide, you can also see the North Dakota Administrative Code. How are the IDEA B funds provided to the Secretary of the Interior used? Reservations are provided funding to assist with screening, identification, and coordination of special education services, and to refer children when appropriate. How is the child's public school district determined when making a referral? The child's public school district is the school the child would be attending when he or she begins elementary school. The professionals referring the child to determine eligibility under IDEA B must determine the child's public school district and then determine the LEA and special education unit that is responsible for the provision of IDEA B services for that district. When you enter the children's address and click on the map to the link above, 
you will receive the information located on the side of this slide. As you see, if as you see if will give if excuse me, as you see if it will give you your special education unit that the school district is a member of. The person making the referral would then follow their referral process, sending the child's information to the listed local education agency or special education unit. When a child transfers from early childhood special education services into an elementary school, who is responsible for the provision of special education services? If a child is enrolled in a public school district, the LEA is responsible for that district who provides special education and related services. The BIE provides special education and related services for five-year-old children with disabilities enrolled in elementary schools operated or funded by the BIE. Each state is required to submit an annual report of the number of students receiving special education and related services. An LEA is responsible for conducting child fines and providing special education and related services to children with disabilities ages 3 through 5 who reside on a reservation within the LEA's jurisdiction. Therefore, the LEAs are responsible for including those children in their child count, reporting data under Section 618 of IDEA, reporting in the State Automated Reporting System, otherwise known as STARS, completing evaluations, determining eligibility, and if a child is found eligible, the development of an individualized education program, otherwise known as an IEP. When the child's public school district is determined, see question three, the LEA should follow district procedures to submit the child's demographic information into STARS. For each child who is referred to an LEA to determine eligibility for special education and related services, STARS data must be sent to TINET. TINET, Technology for Improving Education, is a web-based student file system containing forms and reports required for students receiving special education services. For a child who is ages 3 through 5 and residing on a reservation, the BIE checkbox must be marked when completing the child's demographic information in STARS. This will allow the child's information to flow from STARS to TINET. What process should the LEA complete when the child exits early childhood special education services and enters an elementary school operated or funded by the BIE? When a child is transferring from early childhood special education services into an elementary school operated or funded by the BIE, the LEA does not need to complete an exit form in TINET. Excuse me, the LEA does need to complete an exit form in TINET. The reason on the exit form should be identified as moved, known to be continuing. The LEA must enter the end date and exit code in the district enroll, enrollment in STARS. The state performance plan requires reporting on three early childhood indicators, indicator 6, indicator 7, and indicator 12. Who is responsible for the data collection and reporting for those indicators? The LEA is responsible for the data collection and reporting for all children ages 3 through 5 receiving early childhood special education services. This includes data regarding the three early childhood indicators in the state performance plan and annual performance report. Copies of these can be found at this website. Both federal and state regulations clearly identify steps in the process and timelines that must be met in order to ensure a smooth transition. Both the Early Intervention Program and LEA have responsibility for providing information and resources throughout this process. The Least Restrictive Environment, otherwise known as LRE, Requirements apply to all children ages 3 through 5 with disabilities who are entitled to receive free appropriate public education, FAPE. The purpose of the LRE discussion is to consider the continuum of educational environments and document decisions made by the IEP team regarding the environment in which the child will receive most of his or her special education and related services. 
The LRE continuum for preschool age children with disabilities include those early childhood settings designed primary, primarily for children without disabilities. These environments also allow children with disabilities to participate in appropriate activities and opportunities that support children achieving age-relevant abilities and skills. Children ages three through five residing on reservations are entitled to a continuum of environmental settings. This means that special education services are provided to the maximum extent appropriate and the least restrictive environment. The school must ensure that each child's placement is in the LRE in which the unique needs of that child can be met based upon the child's IEP and that meets all of the other requirements of the law. Additional guidance regarding Part B educational environments for children ages three through five can be found at this link. Family and, children, family and Child Education, otherwise known as SPACE, is a BIE program that was initiated in 1990 with a focus on providing support to American Indian families in the areas of early childhood development. SPACE provides center-based early childhood services to children ages three through five. One of the goals of the program is to promote early identification and services to children with special needs. The FACE program may assist and support with child fine, screening, and service provision, but they are not ultimately responsible for the provision of special education services under IDEA. For detailed information on the FACE program, please see the above link. Early intervention programs and preschool services for children on reservations with BIE, with BIE funded programs. The FACE program is an option for all children and thus may be considered an LRE setting in which a child is served alongside typical developing peers. Decisions relating to the most appropriate educational environment must be determined on an individualized case-by-case -case basis according to the individual needs of the child. For Part B, the placement decision is made by a group of persons, including the parent and other persons knowledgeable about the child. The meaning, of the, the meaning of the evaluation data and the placement options. FACE is a center-based program that could meet the current definitions of a regular early childhood program used by OSEP in its annual data collection on educational environments for preschool children. Additional guidance regarding Part B educational environments for children aged through five can be found at the following website. Memorandums of Understanding, otherwise known as MOUs, should be established to ensure that responsibilities are clearly defined and that coordination and communication protocols are established across local and state education agencies and the BIE. As I stated earlier, there are regions in North Dakota that are currently working on MOUs between the school districts, special education units, and BIE. There are some of the areas, these are some of the areas that should be covered in an MOU. For further information or additional questions, please feel free to contact Director of Special Education, Jerry Tevens, or Special Education Early Childhood Coordinator, Valerie Bakken.